I'm at Capital Audio Fest 2024 with Hans Luhmann, founder of Infigo Audio. Hans, great to see you as usual. Great to see you, Ron. What have you got new for us this year? So there's a couple of products that we have here new on display, and let me start with the source first. So this is our new little streamer. It's a follow-up on the Fluvius that we had before. This little streamer has actually an 8-core uh, processor, and so what we do is um, reserve one core specifically for audio so that the operating system can do whatever it wants in the other cores, but don't mess with our valid audio, you know? It's precious and we want to keep that nice and musical. So there's optical isolation in there so that it automatically creates a very nice clean sort of barrier between the network where you don't know what's going on there and this clean side where you want everything very clean. So the result is a super dark background that we all love. So then that goes into the DAC. You've seen that before, method four. Preamplifier should actually also not be new to you. You have seen that before. But now new is it goes into this subwoofer amplifier and our classic uh, method three class A amplifiers. So this subwoofer amplifier is specifically designed uh, to blend a, a subwoofer perfectly into any system. So it's got phase controls, it's got uh, a little equalizer, it's got pretty much everything that you need to blend a, a subwoofer perfectly into a system. Is that subwoofer amplifier able to be used with any third-party subwoofer? Yes, it is. As and long as it's a, a passive uh, subwoofer, of course. And what are the crossover ranges available? Uh, you can say... For the low pass. The crossover on the low pass for about between 30 hertz and 200 hertz. Oh, so up to 200. Good. Yeah. Up to 200. And is slope adjustable? Yes, 12 or 24. And is phase continuously adjustable? Yes, between 0 and 360 degrees. Good work. Analog. Good work. Have there been any updates to the preamp or the mono amplifiers in the uh, last the year or so? The mono amplifiers have been completely overhauled mm -hmm. uh, the last time that we had them on shows. We started to actually change the inner design, so we've got two big transformers in there right now. So there's two kilowatt transformers. Uh, they are actually so powerful that we switched them on sequentially to be a little easier on your fuse panel. We upped the capacitors and uh, pretty much everything is a little more beefy. So that actually made a little more power and it also cleaned up a couple of things that we had with the previous design. How has it changed the sound of the amplifier? It has actually not really changed the sound of the amplifier. It is still just musical as ever. What is the sonic reason for those component upgrades? The sonic reason for the component upgrades is that it actually delivers more power. The previous version was always just a little shy on power and uh, it wasn't really outputting that much more power than our method 6, the stereo version. So now it's definitely more powerful. Is the subwoofer amplifier topology class AB, class D? It's class D, okay. the subwoofer. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how many watts is it per channel? 500. Into starting with 8 ohms? Yeah. Tell us about the speaker. Uh, the speaker is the Alta Audio Aphrodite speaker. This is a um, upgrade from the, or a redesign, if you will, from the Hestia. Um, it is a, a speaker that has a um, XTL base sub part. Then the mid range is a dipole, as you can see. And the tweeter, of course, is a ribbon. So it's a sort of a sub, like, Diapolito ish design. It's now a full Diapolito, but. Yeah, it's a dipole for pretty much the, the mid-range. I know you always show at exhibits with this loudspeaker. What is it about the speaker that you like so much with your components? This speaker actually has a very, very, very nice way of projecting the sound. I really, really like the sound stage that it produces. Uh, the fact that it just uh, melts in beautifully with the way that we can deliver uh, the sound. It's, it's, it's very nice to our liking. So you like the dipole presentation? I do like the mm -hmm. dipole presentation, mm -hmm. that's right. And I has seriously it, think this is Mike's best speaker that he's ever made. And has Alta just recently released the subwoofer? Or yes, they, that's mm -hmm. very recently. And that's completely passive? It's completely passive. Hans, what is the next new product we should expect from Infigo? Uh, the next new product is one that's already in the pipeline, and that is a swarm controller, a subwoofer controller, where we basically build a completely analog path uh, for channel subwoofer system so that you can basically combat base modes that happen in any room but in a full analog way. We do make it digitally programmable though so you can change pretty much all the settings. There's double uh, parametric equalizers on every channel, the slope settings, uh, phase control from 0 to 360 degrees, everything completely programmable but fully analog uh, sound path. 
What passive subwoofers do you have in mind for people to use with that? There are a couple of small, nice little footprint subwoofers that can blend very easily into different corners of the room or are very asymmetrically placed around the walls. So they blend in a very modern design. And they could be used, for instance, with very nice uh, flat panel speakers, you know, uh, full range electrostats or sub range electrostats so that the swarm will actually just fill in the rest of the base. Especially the small subwoofers would be very, very usable for it because there's going to be four of them. And what is the power output per channel for each of those four channels in that device? Uh, that device is not amplifying, it is really a... Which is a crossover. Yeah, a processor, but okay. an analog processor. So you can use any amplifier that you okay. may already have. Mm -hmm. It'll be compatible with all of that. And will it be able to be integrated with this subwoofer amplifier? Absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah. So you could use one of those and four yeah. of these? Yes, yeah. And so this can be bypassed, actually, and even used full range, mm -hmm. if you want. So mm -hmm. it's a class D that goes all the way up to mm -hmm. like 50 kilohertz or so. Mm -hmm. Have you tried those amplifiers full range on your speakers? I have, but I'm so, so used to class A sound uh -huh. that, yeah, it's still not exactly the same. How would D. you describe the difference between the class A sound of your components and the class D sound? Um, especially in the very high frequencies, the texture of everything like the hi-hats and stuff, you know, is like untouchable when you are used to a class A. It is so musical and so sonically it just has that thing you know and the class D it comes close but it's not exactly the same Hans this has been great thank you very much and thank you have Rob. a wonderful show thank you thank you